Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. I greatly appreciate them. This is the daily reading or forecast for all signs. It's to be used by anyone really at any time, um, but there's flexibility with that. If you're seeing this reading on a day that's other than what the title is, that's okay. If it still applies, if it still fits, take it. You know, if it offers you insight or guidance or, you know, some sort of reflection into whatever you're dealing with in the moment, then it's your reading for that time. Uh, it is originally created for Tuesday, the 16th of November. I can't believe November's not gone. Oh, God. This year is moving by really quickly, it feels like. Um, so... Yeah, is that right? Tuesday? Yes, yeah, so it's Monday morning. Early Monday morning. Okay. I don't even know what day of the week it is, guys. Okay, so let's see. Uh, please check out the drop down menu. In there is sort of information about the channel, housekeeping rules, things I want you to know. Things I want you to keep in mind when utilizing my readings, all that sort of stuff. Feel free to like the reading, subscribe to the channel, share the reading out if you know anybody that can use it or that might be able to make use of it. Um, trying to get the word out there that I exist. So please share, share, share. And let's see what's going on here. Okay. We've got the High Priestess. What a beautiful High Priestess card. Associated with the sign of Pisces. Second card, well, technically the third card when you count the Fool as number one, even though he's zero. He's the beginning. She is secrets. She is, and remember, it's interesting she shows up, because like, remember when I was telling you that the King of Swords was kind of hiding back the underpinning energy of this first few days of this week was this sort of reluctant King of Swords that was sort of, sorry, it's sort of, out of focus. Let me see if I can get it back in focus. Is it going to focus it any better? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Um, he sort of felt like he was reluctant, like he was hiding uh, some information to me or holding back information. Like a lot of us might have thoughts in our mind that we're not necessarily communicating or we're waiting for the right time to communicate. Yesterday, we saw that five of cups, right? Which brings in this Piscean sort of card next, which would be the, the High Priestess. So that was Monday morning's card was the Five of Cups, which is this sort of sadness, um, uh, maybe even a, like a depression, a sadness, an emotional uh, like sort of um, welling up, let's say, right? Now we see the High Priestess. And to me, I feel like she is the personification of secrets, right? She is that higher spiritual knowledge she is that sort of where kind of spirit and the emotions connect, right? Where they sort of communicate. And oftentimes it can be confusing, right? She's sort of, and that's what I mean by like, she's sort of like, like she ha communicates with us in puzzles or riddles um, in ways that like, how do I want to describe this? Like when spirit communicates to us, it's not always necessarily the easiest to understand, if that makes sense, like through our dreams or through, um, you know, daily occurrences. Sometimes we attract to us the very thing that we need to see, but we don't understand that we need to see it because we're in resistance to it, right? Or we're fighting against it and, and trying to not see it. And in an effort to not see it, we're actually bringing it back closer to us, if that makes any sense at all. And so to me, when I look at her, I feel like we've come out of that five of cups, right? Or out of sort of maybe that depression. And we've somehow learned how to, I want to say like own it or understand it better. But we're still, I love how the way that he does this is he has these two different plumes of smoke. He has the dark smoke and the light smoke. She's like this blend of both, right? And that smoke signifies the pillars that she has on either side of her. She is a, one of the, the four pillar cards of the major arcana. And so, to me, um, 
I like how he uses smoke because although it's there and it exists, we can see it. We can even sort of touch it. It's ephemeral in a weird way, right? Like you can put your hand, you can't grab it. You can't grab hold of it. Similar to like the knowledge of the high priestess. It's like she's got wisdom beyond anybody else in the deck, right? Or we, we have wisdom within us that's beyond us, beyond, you know, into, intuitional wisdom, subconscious wisdom that comes to us in sort of uh, flashes or, um, you know, um, out of nowhere. And it can sort of uh, educate us in a way, right? And so when I see her here, I feel like she's offering us something. I feel like it's partly it's that, I think it's a pomegranate in her hand, but that's also uh, particular to the dress that she wears in the um, uh, traditional Rider weight deck, I believe the fabric has pomegranates on there. And I'm not sure of the significance of the pomegranate other than, you know, when I think about it, I think about it as being a, like a, a very, you know, sort of robust, abundant fruit full of seeds, right? And seeds are to me kind of like ideas or dreams and, that's where those things start from. And sort of that's, she's sort of the keeper of all of that, right? And so, I don't know, I feel very esoteric this morning, or maybe it's just her energy. But it feels to me like she is the blending of that Five of Cups and that King of Swords, right? She is kind of bringing us the information that we might need around a situation, a person, something that's not I mean let's be honest we have that seven of swords happening in the midweek so I kind of feel like she's kind of swooping in and kind of coming to save the day for us like I feel like she's saying to me okay girl get your emotions together let's take care of this we can do this and the billowy smoke which represents the strength of the pillows of uh, pillars not pillows <laughs> the pillars Although it feels sort of, um, I don't know, soft or vulnerable, it's just as strong as if there were pillars there. Does that make sense? Right? When there's sort of a flexibility, when there's a malleability to us or a mutability where we can move within the situation, but yet have the wisdom that we need that comes from the King of Swords, that comes from the High Priestess to make situations um, work for us rather than against us, to own them and control them in ways that... Um, Maybe others won't necessarily quite understand, right? And we don't necessarily have to explain it to anybody else why we're doing what we're doing. That's also the same as the high priestess. It's like, sometimes I think of her and she's like a big, like, fuck them. Excuse my language, right? But that's kind of how I feel like her attitude is in a way. Not in a negative way, like, um, you know, mean. It's just more like, what does it matter if they understand? This is your truth. And I feel like that's the power of the high priestess is like she comes in and she brings you that truth. And even if it may not even make sense to our own mind and our own ego at times where you're like, you know, your gut is telling you do this. And you're like, wait, you want me to do that? And that's the high priestess saying, yes, fuck them. Do what you need. Does that make sense? <laughs> so... And there could be also, with her card showing up, there could be messages all around us on this day, uh, messages to help us through. And I, what I mean by that is like synchronicities in our day, spirit coming to show us maybe answers to questions that we've had. Keep eyes out for that. Keep our intuition high. Keep our, like our feelers out. Keep connected. Um, not only to like that of spirit, right, but also to how we're feeling emotionally. She's going to cue you in that way. It's not always going to make sense or it might feel different, awkward, weird, but she's going to help you. Like whoever was in that like sort of rough patch of the five of cups yesterday or whoever is having any sort of, I mean, there's a little bit of confusion that comes with her, but there's an empowerment that comes from sitting with her, right? From learning from her, like let her hand you the seeds of that pomegranate, let her hand you that fruit, right? And see what that fruit bears, in other words, right? Because I think that there's an opportunity here for us. Although it's funny because I get this feeling that like we might be reluctant to want this knowledge or this opportunity, but she's here if we want it. Let's look at the next card. Resistance. 
<laughs> and I just got done saying, I don't know if we want her opportunity. Let me read Resistance really quick. I don't know if I read it the last time we saw this card, but I find this is interesting that it's showing up here um, with her. Because I get this I get this vibe that there's like this message out here. There's It's like the thing we don't want to see. And it's like we've known about it for a while is the feeling that I get. I mean, just when I'm thinking about the three cards that we've been looking at this week, with like starting with that King of Swords, we've known about this for a while. We've known change needs to take place. We've been sitting on it and hiding, maybe watching, making assessments, judgments, analyzing, trying to find a different way around. And it's like we can't. We have to kind of go through it. Right. That's similar to how that crow is sort of flying directly into that storm. Like resistance is futile in a way. You know, the high priestess certainly can't be stopped in a way. Our spirit is going to rise up. It's going to give us messages. Uh, we can try and avoid them. We can try and not listen to them. But um, it's kind of like she will be heard sort of thing. So resistance is. Uh, there may be a strong wind coming your way. However, you do have the ability to find a path with the, le with the least resistance. Have you e ever seen a crow get thrown by the wind? The bird may get taken off guard, but it finds its balance again. You are the sky, everything else. It is just the weather. Uh, Pima Chodron. And that's kind of interesting, right? So we don't have to let our environment overtake us, freak us out, and lose complete and absolute touch with whatever it is that's going on, right? And we certainly, I kind of feel like the path of least resistance is like, let's not fight what's coming at us. Understand we have a power about us. We have a sense or an intelligence about us. So here is the stone for today. And somebody's going to say, I hear a reflux. There's a broken stone in here too. I could feel it when I left it again when I dropped the bag. Somebody's broken. Um, it's respect. Respect, first and foremost, the strength and the knowledge, the wisdom that's within you that is representational of the high priestess, even if it doesn't always make sense, right? That spiritual sort of knowledge. Um, having that self-respect to not... You know, I don't want to say like that my reader, my watchers are going to make fools of themselves. But in this resistance, we could, we could potentially make the situation worse. Right? The high priestess says, no, just keep me your mouth shut and watch. They'll burn their own bridge. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of my feeling there. And I feel like that's the truth of the, um, the, um, Knight of Swords, I mean, the King of Swords, right? It's like he sat watching, waiting, and um, she's still waiting, too. She's just much smarter. She's much more emotionally in control, this high priestess, right? And so, interesting, the broken stone is clarity. I just pulled out, I found both pieces. I'll have to glue it back together, get some super glue. But the word is clarity. So somebody's clarity is off. I'm just going to throw that out there because this stone wanted to come out and be repaired. So I'm going to be repairing the clarity of the stone today. And I hope that you guys are going to be able to find the clarity. Have the respect for yourself to sort of stay in your own lane this day, right? But stay empowered within that lane. Don't, you know, just stay in your own lane and not saying anything doesn't mean you're like giving into a situation or, or um, um, losing anything, right? It's, it's like when we fight against it, when we resist it, that's when we, when we lose, right? So when we have enough respect for ourselves to just sort of allow ourselves to sort of flow with whatever is going on around us and understand that we have the wisdom and the knowledge and the strength and the spiritual fortitude to face all of it and, and excel, um, we are able to not only respect ourselves while doing that, but also gain the respect of others through just being in that place, right? People are oftentimes amazed or they're thoroughly pissed off because they can't get to us and they don't understand why. What is it that she has that we don't? That is your reading for the day. I need to go clean up the clarity stone. <laughs>
And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll see how this energy builds. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a question or comment and subscribe to the channel if you like. I would love to have some more subscribers. And I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. All right, take care.